I don't even know how to start this thing. So I'm just gonna start. Like, the set is still a mess. Like, I posted on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything that the set's a mess. Every test video I've done, I've mentioned that the set is a mess. Not that you've seen that yet, because I haven't even introduced myself yet, which I will get to in a minute. But, stuff it. We're recording anyway, because otherwise this thing is just never gonna happen. Welcome! My name's Nathan, or Cedo, or Nathan Cedo, because first and last name. At one point there was too many Nathans around, so instead of calling me Nathan and everyone else Nathan, I became Cedo. Although that happened long, in, uh, long ago in high school and all the rest of it. But anyway, ah, but for the sake of this, I am calling myself the Scrapyard Techie. Why the Scrapyard Techie? Because, funnily enough, I'm a techie in a scrapyard. That was a lot simpler than it sounds. No, but seriously, I own a business called 3P Garage. We are uh, in Australia, which is where I am, where I am from. Uh, we call these wreckers, but uh, I understand most of the rest of the world call them scrapyards. So uh, just for the sake of globality or whatever the term is, uniformity? Internationalism? Multiculturalism? I have no freaking idea. But anyway, for the sake of this, I am the Scrapyard Techie. For those of you not familiar with the concept of a wrecker or a scrapyard, uh, it's a place where you go and buy parts, secondhand parts, that have been removed off cars that have had something happen to them. They've been taken off the road for whatever reason. They're not roadworthy anymore. They're being crashed. Um, people's unfinished projects we see a lot. Um, stuff like that. Specifically here down at 3P Garage, we only deal with Subarus and only what we refer to as performance model Subarus usually unless we pick up the other ones dirt cheap but that doesn't happen really all that often and uh, we don't usually like to deal with that stuff so uh, we have a saying around here non-turbo not interested but uh, we will make the odd exception for H6 model so six cylinder the reason that I am the scrapyard techie is because before this I worked in IT I worked with technology all the time and then about six, almost seven years ago now, I decided, well, let's start a business uh, wrecking Subarus. I may explain that story one day, but it, it's a little bit of a long story, so that might be another video. That means that uh, I'm business owner, like I own the scrapyard. Well, I rent the scrapyard, but you know, I own the business. I, yeah, have a lot to do. But for some reason I decided, hey, let's make YouTube videos as well. Because, you know, there's not enough to do in the day without doing that anyway. And in fact, you know what? A few people mentioned, well, how the heck are you going to have time to do that? Well, it's very simple. I don't have the time in the day to do that. It's night. Huh, <laughs> gotcha. Um, yeah, it's night time there is nobody here I could not do this during the day because there are just too many people that come in and out and there is way too much background noise and interruptions and all the rest of it um, we did look at the option of live streaming some stuff but you know the problem with live streaming stuff is that uh, we're answering calls all the time and um, people are coming in and we're not going to get a talent release form or media release form or whatever you want to call it from every single person who walks through the door. That and you know, hey, oh yeah, can you just give us your phone number and we'll give you a call back? Or, oh, you want to pay for that over the phone by credit card now? Sure, what's your number? Uh, ooh, ooh, no, we better not live stream that online, eh? Night recording it is. And uh, thankfully I have my trusty water bottle. And by water bottle, I mean, like, my workaholic. Because apparently, uh, I'm workaholic. Like, it's 10 o'clock at night, and I'm still here. Well, technically, I went home, had dinner, came back, and uh, still going. Um, but that being said, I don't know. Small business owner and workaholic kind of look like the same thing. I don't know. Uh, as for the stickers, like, I would like to thank Mr. Jonathan Watts if you're out there watching for the subway sticker um, when we were having lunch together one day it just done and my daughter Ruth she uh, she's only three but uh, when she was toilet training we were giving her stickers and um, she gave me a sticker for tinkling in the toilet so I kept that I have no idea why uh, she and my other daughter Gracie added the rest of them but there they are anyway that's enough of that as mentioned previously, I am from Australia, I am in Australia, and uh, that changes technology a little bit. Not so much in the hardware that's available or how it works or anything like that, 
but um, definitely in services we definitely get things a lot later than the rest of the world like we only got Netflix in the last few years and even then Netflix does not have the same level of content that it does in the USA or uh, most other countries in the world I think up until then we had to use VPNs if we wanted Netflix uh, and even now people use VPNs so they can get access to the USA Netflix content um, not that I'm condoning that or actually have ever done that now that I think about it but that's apparently what some of us do the other thing that's a little bit different is the way that we talk like everything shortened we call our own country Australia Straya because who could be bothered saying the whole thing Straya that's why I'm techie by the way too not just technician it's uh, it's got to be techie just like uh, barbecue by the way nobody says let's throw another shrimp on the barbie not as far as I've met anyway and uh, I've been here my whole life and I've never heard anyone say that seriously barbie no barbecue with their own snags snags being sausages don't, don't ask me where that comes from because I actually don't have any idea but we're gonna do it anyway um we throw snags on the barbie Daniel no it's not Daniel it's Dano oh hey Dano don't ask me why I don't know I just go with it. It's probably going to be a little bit weird, but you'll get used to it. So I'm going to be looking at technology from an Australian point of view. Not that there's probably a lot of difference now with the advent of the internet, like the gaps closing pretty quickly, but uh, still some differences. So as I find them, we'll talk about that. As well as that, being in a scrapyard, I am used to, well, you know how people go, oh, I'm used to the finer things in life. Well, they're used to the finer things in life. I'm not used to the finer things in life. I run a scrapyard. Uh, I'm used to seeing like we spend as little money as possible to get the thing going. When I say I used to work in IT before, part of that was for a non-profit organization and uh, I wasn't given a lot of budget there. So we had to do stuff either cheap or free. And uh, that being said, even before I got that job, um, I did stuff cheap or free anyway. And even to this day now, it's still either got to be cheap or free. Most of my hardware is secondhand. Um, say most, not all, but most of it is secondhand because I don't want to pay retail. Do you want to pay retail? Stuff that. I'm not expecting a huge amount of people to be watching this. Like, sure, if you found this great, hi. I apologize because uh, I have a face for radio, but um, you know, you'll get over that. Um, if nothing else, at least like, Working with cheap stuff and secondhand stuff, you find a lot of weird stuff. Like, a lot of weird stuff. Um, and sometimes stuff just doesn't work. Sometimes stuff goes wrong, or sometimes you have to work really hard to make stuff work. And that's okay. But, this is mainly a record of that. Like, of stuff that's found, bargains that are found, stuff that's cheap that works, stuff that's free that works, how to make stuff that is free work in place of something that may be more expensive or paid if you want to go to that much effort really it's a blog a vlog video log video web log web log is blog blog is video log you know it's a log if like there's a lot of stuff that i've done that i have no idea how i did it if i go back and try and do it today i probably couldn't do it however if i have a record then i can and then if you want to come along for the journey then so be it I'll still format it in a way for the general public so if you want to follow it you can I'll try and make it a little bit entertaining but you know dad jokes yeah enough about me I posted on social media that we were going to do an unboxing so let's do an unboxing ta-da well that was anticlimactic I won't be doing a lot of hardware unboxing. In fact, I don't plan on doing any hardware unboxing. I didn't even plan to do that hardware unboxing. I just happened to pick this up the other day and I uh, thought I could do an unboxing video. But everybody does unboxing videos. So let's do something different. And we have, we unboxed a box. There you have it. Seriously though, something that I will be doing is um, we have these lollies in Australia. They're called Minty, it says, it's moments like these you need minties. The wrappers of these, every single lolly, I'm led to believe these are only in Australia and New Zealand, uh, every single lolly is wrapped 
in a wrapper which has a cartoon on it where something is just gone, uh, is going, has gone terribly wrong. And it's moments like these that you need minties. Working with cheap and free stuff, we're going to be needing a lot of these. So we're going to have that. We're going to have moments like these, you need minties. Because Australia. Anyway. Alright, okay, fine. We should probably actually open this because this has been sitting on my desk for a few days now. Let's clean up a little bit. So, this, this, oh, I love these things. I don't know if anyone else loves these things, but let, let's just open them and see. Ta da! It's a keyboard. It's not just any keyboard. Like in this day and age, everybody's going nuts over the mechanical keyboards. I really don't see the appeal. Like I can't say I've tried one, so maybe there is an appeal, and I just have missed it. Um, but yeah, I just okay. Look, this isn't just an ordinary keyboard. This is the box can go away. Not an ordinary keyboard. It's supposed to go uh, with the curve of your hands. So good. I don't actually like the tilt up bit. Like there's a, a bit that pushes it up. So we'll just get rid of that now. Uh, much better. So, the idea being that, let's get that out of the way for a minute. The idea being that when you rest your hands on the table, let's pull these up, your hands don't actually rest in a straight line. Your hands actually rest naturally at an angle and naturally at a curve. If you just put your hands down naturally, they sit like that. And you can feel the difference. Like, I can feel the difference. Maybe you can't feel the difference, but I can feel the difference. When you have your hands like that, you can feel it pull here and here, like that. It's very uncomfortable. Like, okay, I've had one of these keyboards before. It broke. I don't remember why, I don't remember how, but it broke. So that was many years ago. Um, and it's taken me this long to replace it. I've just been using normal keyboards ever since and finally just, the other day I finally decided to get another one and yeah there it is I love it it's awesome right that's all for me I've probably missed stuff but I'll get it in the next one or something I'll be back if you want to see more subscribe if you liked it then you know if you didn't like it you know but show us your thumbs what do you think thanks leave comments I will try to get all of them although at this point there's probably not going to be many but hey maybe one day thanks bye